Okay, limit switch. The light is relay is still on. And then it kicks out. So I'm just gonna pull this off here. There we go. The actuator is actuating. It's uh, extending and retracting. We're using relay seven and eight. Um, this uh, satellite receiver cord works great. So good, good little uh, score there. Um, less wires I have to deal with, and I'm already got I already got a mess in here. So um, I think this board I'm probably gonna do something custom with. I won't have time to do that during the the contest here. I don't think, but uh, at some point I'll just probably make some kind of shield. Maybe even work in uh, that CC three thousand kind of deal or something like that. Base it off the one of the one of the smaller modules. Um, everything is getting there. Uh, the new voltage divider is in, so I can now measure voltage on the panel as well. Um, current sensors do appear to well be working in in the right order and everything now. Uh, these ones are definitely uh, definitely sensitive to direction. Um, and I found a new battery at the bin. Uh, this is one of the 3 watt, um, 12 volt LED bulbs. Uh, Amazon carries these, they're in an E27 socket. And uh, this is a Marine Craft deep cycle battery, so they'll have three out there now. Um, it's It's got some age. It's 0706. I found it. It had 6 volts on it. Um, popped the caps and put in some distilled water and we jumped up to 7.8 volts. Uh, hooked up this little meter to it and it lit up zero and then blinked out. No power at all. Um, tried hooking up this, got nothing. Tried hooking up this power pulse battery maintenance system, which this is just a desulfator. Uh, I picked this up at a uh, trade show the other day that we had and uh, figured I'd give it a shot. Um, in, to my surprise, it does seem like it works even overnight. So, um, I put this on it, put the charger on it, and uh, left it overnight, and I was reading about 12.8 volts. Uh, didn't seem to want to go any higher than that, and I kicked this guy over from 2 amps to 10 amps. And a little bit later, we had jumped up to 13.2, and this guy thought it was charged. So, hooked up this 12-volt, uh, 3-watt light, and uh, put it back up on there, and it rose all the way to 14.2. I've had this light running for two days now and the actuator that we just played with that's been i've been toying with this for a little bit now we're still sitting at 12.6 so i think i got a little bit of a success um i'm gonna probably keep running these this works up to three batteries um if it works at all um it does appear to be better than when i've just used the charger on normal batteries before this is one of the examples um I'm going to actually run this on this battery. I've charged this battery. I've killed it. It's pretty dead. It works for testing things here and there, but it's not something I'd ever have in service. Um, so yeah, um, I will hook that up. But I'm going to get this outside once I do a little bit more maintenance on it. We'll charge it up, drain it a few times, and kind of condition it back into use. And then we'll hook it up to the other packs. I don't want to... Don't want to hurt the other batteries too much if this one's being a... Being a pain in the butt. So do some tests with it and then move it in. Uh, this I have to make all my wiring, cut my holes, and get it into the box, and then I can mostly do some coding. I'm going to hook up all the re relays up to, I got some Anderson power poles, they came, uh, I got those off eBay. Um, locally they're really expensive, um, but I got, I think, 12, 24 pairs for like 30 bucks or something, so not too horribly bad, but 
probably I could probably get them cheaper if I maybe shopped around, or maybe they're not even legitimate. Who knows? So, um, that's what's going on. We can. Uh, I've got this set up to retract automatically, but if we hook this up, yeah, it hit the limit switch, so it's on right now. Still feeding power to it, but we're, if we hit a limit switch wherever it is, probably back here, and maybe I should look up some, everything's probably down in the back. Maybe one up at the top. Got to be some small switches if they got them in there. Or just a nice design. Maybe along the back. So it's turned off. Five seconds. And we should start extending. And right now it's, yeah, it's just set for 35 seconds. Just kind of testing it. Making sure this was going to work. And we are working. So... Alright, that's it for now.